karkarash. This is this means usually the sidereal verb, where something might go wrong, or you might get a little bit overworked, mm. or you might get a little bit stressed because there is too much responsibilities. So when you start working and working and working, did you overwork with yoga again? Sure. How was that? Was it good? Was it bad? You had to come and reconsider, oh, maybe I'm getting too too much intensity with this, maybe I, get, I need to get more time and rhythm. How it was this process of being working and working and working? Was there a workaholic? And you're Danny somewhere in the place? Yeah. Please tell us. I think for me, I was uh, so excited to, to experience this that I wanted to share this to people. And I started to travel, I went to Bali, I went to many places where I see workshops and great teachers and festival as well. So I wanted to like, it was almost like catching up. Like all the years where I was not doing this, was to try to, in a way, catch up to this. So I started to do Thai massage training and Reiki training. And uh, I started everything, to, everything. I started to organize a concert. Ten years ago, I started to organize Kirtan in Geneva. So I invite musicians from Spain, from different places in Europe. And I started to organize a, a Earth Dance Festival. It was around 2000 and? 2009 is when I started to organize events in Geneva. Okay. So I was teaching full-time yoga, 15 to 20 classes a week. And then I was uh, I started to organize concerts, and then I organized a, a festival. Lot work. A Whatever. lot of work and too much because it takes time. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't realize the time it would take to do everything. So I worked too much. I did too much. And there was a kind of yogic stress there. Too much, too much work there. Too much work, too much work and renting rooms and money, like you know. And when you did say, okay, maybe I'm windy too much, maybe I'm doing too much. How did you handle with this overwork? I've been working too much for the last five years. It's only now that I'm starting to to let go of and big concerts, of big organizations. And then this, now we go to the seventh question about the festivals and this kind of stuff. We go to to Arashi, Libra, where things happen, mm. where the party, the festivals happen. How uh, it appeared to you or how it was going, this idea to bring up a yoga festival. Was this yeah. new? There was in other places. How did you start to move the, your energy in this? Yeah. In this so I need, to go back, I need to go back to 2007, okay. because for me, uh, discovering Acro Yoga was the big opening. Like discovering yoga, I was coming back to myself and back to my body and my breath. And in 2007, I go on the internet and I see Acro Yoga. Please tell to people that are watching a little bit what is Acro Yoga because... So, if people don't know me. Maybe. Yeah, of course. So Acro Yoga is a, it's a beautiful practice that combines acrobatics, uh, Thai massage and yoga practice, all combined together. All these elements mixed together to, to do it in, in pairs or in groups. So you're not alone on your mat anymore, which is great, it's, it's a first step, but you use these techniques to connect to people and to touch people and to, to play people and to learn trust and connection and to discover your potential, physical potential as well, you know? So, um, so for me it was really like coming back to the self of the yoga and then connecting to people. In my country, people are not very. They don't. You know, touch. it's like hello, yeah. bonjour, you know, kind of, hello, 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 okay, you know. So it's also this. It was for me. It was I needed this. I needed the healing with the connection. Human the touch. touch. The human oh, yeah. touch. It's one of the most beautiful thing in this life. The connection and the touch. So for me, 2007, I meet. I invite a teacher from California, Jason, to come to a workshop for one weekend in Geneva. And I fall in love, like I fall in love with you, or like the way you fall in love with your wife. I fall in love for one month, I cannot sleep. <gasps> oh, this energy, I love it. Two months later, I go to California and I become a teacher of Acro Yoga. And my teacher is like, go to Thailand, amazing Thai massage, go to Laos. One month, Thai massage circles with music, chanting, Tai Chi, singing, like big celebration. And I started to go. 
to all these flags. And that was the beginning of discovering these movements and these tribes all around the world. Not, do, not doing just yoga asana, but you know, giving love and singing, artists, celebrating, celebrating life, you know, and crying and showing emotion and, and healing automatically. And uh, this when 2007, 2008? 2007 was discovering the actual yoga and from there it was... And when did you start the Geneva Yoga Festival? So 2007 to 2009 I went to many yoga festivals, London Yoga Festival, Berlin Yoga Festival, Los Angeles Yoga Festival, San Francisco Yoga Festival. And I, I feel home, I'm connecting to everybody, I find my people, you know? Yes. And in 2009 I go to Bali and I follow the Bali Spirit Festival. And that was the eye-opener for me, to discover this huge celebration, this African dance, amazing concert at night, even electronic music, different styles of yoga, like healing, massage, you know, I was like, this is great, this is great, you know? So in 2010, I'm like, I'm, I'm creating this here in Geneva. I want to create this kind of vibration. I want to bring this to my country and to my city because people are feeling lonely and stressed and they will not discover disconnected. this. Disconnected. And they, they're, not, they're probably not going to discover this because they're working so much and they don't have time to go to India, they don't have time to go to Bali. But they can have that, have that kind of experience there in their own place. So I even invite teacher I meet in Bali, please come to Geneva. And in 2010 I organized the first small festival. And people tell me, wow, I never do this. Yoga, and then we sing, musician in the yoga class. Thank you, that's crazy, you know. And, and that was the, the beginning of of sharing this, what I experienced in the world I was bringing to Geneva. And we are going deep into it, but um, the eighth question is going to be about trouble. We go to uh, Scorpio, mm. or Shikarashi, and the question is, during all this, maybe eight years now, right, of the Geneva Yoga Festival? Yeah, it's the ninth year yeah, this year in September. Now. Was there any kind of problem that you said, oh, this is so problematic, this is terrible, this is awful, or something like, this was some kind of uh, lesson that I took, mm. and it was very important for me to change, mm. to transform. Was there a big uh, challenge or transformation in this process mm. that you would like to share with us, that you think it's important for people that organizing or anyone to Share your experience, yeah, yeah. because sometimes we need some uh, mistakes also to learn and mm. to grow. Yeah, I think it's really to, if you feel inspired to organize this kind of project, to really trust it. You know, if you feel it's a calling from your heart, to really trust this, but also to stay grounded. For me, I think I was, I was not uh, secured enough in understanding my energy in creating these events, the force I had to, to, let's, to say, let's go, let's do it. And in 2000, uh, 2013, the third yoga festival... Uh, there was a storm. There, yeah, it sounds a little bit like this. Actually, it was the fourth okay. yoga festival. Uh, somebody steal money from the cash. It's, it's uh, completely on Scorpio. It's totally Scorpio. <laughs> Actually, because I needed help, because I needed help, I gave. I, because I'm not, I'm a good, or I'm not a organizer like emails, Excel sheets. I'm not good with this. So I always want somebody to help me. So I meet one guy and I give him this. Please help me with the business aspect. I'm not good. I'm not grounded like this. I, I'm good with teaching and connecting to people. So I give this guy everything. All my contact list. I give him my baby, I, and I trust. I don't even go look if he does the work or not, because I think he's a person that you can trust. And he's a sneaky person, and he steals money. So then uh, lawyer, cops, and you know, going to the judge with him, they're very difficult to, very difficult to get the money back. But he takes the money, you know? And that was like, oh my God, he wanted to steal what I created, because what I created is beautiful, and it's light. And he's probably not happy with his life, so it's somebody that takes. Some people give, no? And some people are 
a little bit sneaky and take, you know. So it took money, and it was a, that was a big lesson to understand that what I create is beautiful. And, and I am not the direct right, creator, but I have a strong energy. And you need to be a little bit crazy to, to build something like this, like the Palachi, like this beautiful wind, you know? Like Claire, it's, it's not everybody has this trust and corazón to do it, even if I don't make money, even if I don't succeed. If I'm going. I'm going. And so if you do something like that, really trust. Trust and, and keep, it's your baby, keep it. And uh, now with this transformation, this issues, these wires and all this stress and this kind of stuff, we go to the ninth question about having a purpose that we are talking, right? That's done with Asha, Sagittarius, to aim higher and to say, okay, there's problem there, but we are going to keep still. We have the courage to go on. So after this mess, 2015 and so on, how you did, okay, there is this kind of problem, but let's go on. How was this process to keep going and let's go and uh, we are going to make it better and sure. we are going to find a way. And so when it happened in 2013, many friends, my family stopped, Daniel. You teach full time, you learn time massage, you're, you're crazy. Maybe it's time to relax, you know. And I'm like, yeah, I am tired. I mean, so it's, it's a lot of stuff, you know. And uh, a lot of things to handle, you know. But for me, it's, it's really a calling. Nothing can stop me. Because I really believe we need this. We need this kind of experience for people that are just like stuck their mind yeah. and their job and their yeah. stress and all this kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's four days where people can discover things that we, it will take maybe many years to discover. So like here in Parachi Yoga Festival, in three, four days, we discover many styles of yoga, many amazing teachers, many people like you and all the people helping to organize this. And this is, it's people coming together, simply. And working together. And working together. Because everybody is surviving, and if you're a yoga teacher, you need to you know, pay your bills. And sometimes many yoga teachers feel alone because it's hard to be independent. Yes. And it's hard to make a living yes. with this work. Yes. And, the, and then the more we're together, the more we can understand and talk. How, how did you do it? How was it for you? And then I need help and, and I can help you. And in this process of the next year, 2014, right? The fifth yeah, year. Yeah. How it was to. Let's go, let's continue, let's put it okay, on so, the track again. So it was a little bit complicated because it was still, we were still trying to understand what happened with the person who had bad intention and at the same time we were the new festival. So it was very hard. 2014 and 15 were difficult. My fa family helped me, but we were a little bit struggling together. So it was quite hard. The, so 2010, 11, 12, very nice. Just good vibe, I don't lose money, I don't make money, but just good vibration. 2014, 15, 2013, 14, 15, very difficult with my sister, like just very intense. And then 2016. Now we go to the, to the, tenth, to the, to the tenth one. It's about the Everest, the highest peak, Mount Meru. Uh, it's about Capricorn, Makararashi, where the thing gets high and people start to see, oh, this is great, mm -hmm. this is sound, this is going to endure, this is a very uh, imprint on the ground. So, 2016, 17, 18, how was this uh, uh, Geneva uh, Yoga Festival growing? and start to split, to give birth to another festival. Was Parachi the only one, there is another one. How was this? Okay, we survived, and we are going to stand still, and we are going to make it new festivals, and it's going to get bigger, it's going to get better, it's going to get wonderful. What was this 2016 process? Sure. I think it's, life is always testing us in so many ways. And for me, I needed to learn with these difficult times. It was all a learning experience, it was perfect. 2016 was incredible because all the classes were full. 
is still going on. Yes. Okay. All the classes were full, and the, the energy was just incredible. And I, I, I'm organizing 2016, I'm going around, and I, I put things together. And the light come back. And the light come back. Great. And we're almost at the tip of the Mount Everest. And then it was a gift of all the hard three years. 2016 was, I go, I go, I open the door of the church. There's one class in the church. I opened the door, it was full. And I was crying because I was like, here it is. Here's the gift of the slalom. This is indeed one present. Yeah, and it was here it is. The gift was that it's a symbol. And that everybody say The yeah, flag is there. The flag is there, yeah. And it's kind of owning your, your place in yourself automatically and in the creation of the festival.